Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prison Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I hope you click on subscribe and stick around because I'd love to see you next week uh, for next week's plan with me or haul, whatever we're doing. Probably a plan with me. Anyways, today I'm going to be planning for the month of April 2019 using this gorgeous kit by my newest addiction. Um, this is silver foiled and the uh, handle lettering, most of it uh, is done by just Senya the Planner Sophisticate. That's what those little kind of signature bows are. So uh, we're going to go ahead and plan for the month of April and we're also going to plan the notes uh, section for April as well. So uh, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and white out the uh, bold font right there that says April and the part of the flag, I couldn't, I didn't want to really like, I don't think I can white out uh, all of it because some of it is like laminated under the tab for April. So I just whited out what I could. You have to at least white out the top portion because if you don't, uh, then it'll like show <laughs> anyways um i wanted to lay down this box first and then things went wrong <laughs> so um it started sticking to everything and that was all totally my fault <laughs> so i decided to help me line it up i wanted to lay down that box right there first and, I, and then as you can see uh it accidentally started sticking to everything and i was like dropping the undo and it was a mess it was seriously a hot mess as you can see i have three sheets of stickers stuck to this strip um but luckily un undo literally saved the day or it would have had a ripped up mess of stickers so um i highly recommend undo it is a planner girl or guy's best friend if you're not familiar what that magical liquid is it's some kind of alcohol based product you can find in like craft stores like michael's or on amazon um, and it will make the sticker temporarily unsticky so you can peel it off of stuff without ruining your planner paper or other stickers. So everything just came off, you know, just fine. Um, so thankfully I had that. Otherwise I would have been ripping things apart because the Minus Addiction stickers are on a premium matte paper and it is a very sticky premium matte, um, as you could tell. So... Yes, I did have that the situation was um, disaster was averted. Uh, I am an end of myself an entire disaster. So I'm not surprised that that happened. I'm just surprised that's never happened before. Um, but yeah, so basically before you lift off those big old stickers that are long strips like that, I would suggest you be very careful with what you're doing when, you know, if you're like, oh, I want to put something down first and you just let that one flap around all over the place willy nilly, uh, it could stick to other things. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm whiting out the holidays in the month and also the days of the week um, because the sticker that goes under there is pretty thin, so I don't want it to show through. And then I just kind of align it with that purple bar over there on the right, um, and then I white it out so it doesn't show through. Then I noticed that when I put down that long strip, um, it was a little bit crooked. I had to hold it up to see, but I could tell that the left side of the top of the sticker, there was more white showing than on the right side. And it's a little hard to align those big block of stickers when you don't have like a little box to kind of, you know, um, use for reference, which is why I wanted to lay down that little box, you know, on the other side of the planner first before I laid down the big strip because it helped me get it straight. Um, but I couldn't do that on this side because there was no like days of, you know, that were not actually in the month of April. So I did bring out the undo again to fix it. And then I was showing right here, you could see a little lifting from that sticker. It didn't want to like lay down. I don't know why. Um, again, it's not my, it's not, it's not my news addiction's fault. It's my fault for fumbling around too much with the stickers and, um, you know, getting them stuck to everything. It was, um, a hot mess. <laughs> so anyways, eventually it did stick down. I just had to, um, lift it back up and then kind of flatten it back out. And it may still be a little bit crooked. I don't know entirely, but oh well. <laughs> um, next up we're going to do this sidebar. Again, laying things down crooked, busting out the undo. There's so much undo in this, uh, plan with me. I am so sorry. I, was like so frazzled by the event of like the, the three stickers all sheets and stuff stuck together that I was like really just like a mess for the for the remainder of the month but I kind of I kind of rein it back in um but yeah so I'm laying down these uh checklists 
from the kit. I, I don't really tend to use my sidebar that much in my monthly spreads. I do most, I just use it for bills, if honestly. Um, I don't use it as like, you know, this one's for my to-dos and this one's for my like, I don't know. I just don't use it for that. Um, cause I tend to put my to-dos in, uh, my weeklies. I don't know. I don't really have like big to-dos that like I need to put in the month or like maybe, you know, like work on them throughout the weeks or I don't know. I don't really have anything like that. Um, we don't really have big projects going on. Maybe if we did, um, have that or like big to-dos, I guess I put in my notes section because I did last month use um, the notes section for my tax refund, which were like kind of big to do's. I don't know. So I kind of do that. But basically, I don't use my sidebar for that. Um, I use my sidebar just for like writing down my bills and then I just check them off as they're paid, which I don't really have to do because I do keep track of my bills using the Every Dollar app, which is pretty cool. It's a free app. I found it through somebody talking about budgeting on YouTube or whatever. So I would definitely re recommend checking it out if you want a free budgeting app. Um, it's helpful. So yeah, I track my bills with the Every Dollar app. Um, and then I also have another calendar I got for Christmas from my in-laws. Um, that's just like a kind of like cheapy off-brand planner and I didn't really know what to do with it, but I was like, oh, maybe I'll just use it for bills. So I kind of use that for bills. It's just like, you know, chicken scratch writing down the days they're actually due because the app helps, but I like to also see like a month laid out and then what's due when so I can like look at the week, you know, like I can look at the week coming up and be like, oh, this is coming up, you know, it just helps me visually. So anyways, so I lifted up that sticker as you saw and flattened it out so it stayed. Um, and then as you saw me stuck that bottom longer strip on my arm, it was to help it not be super sticky. <laughs> and um, that, sh that strip just covers up the days that are actually going to be in May. So anyways, um, here I am using those clear stickers, or no, I keep, what am I calling them that for? The stickers that are on the clear paper <laughs> to put down the days of the week, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a little bit tedious, but not enough that I'm like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's cool. It's, I think it's cooler that she provides that option because some people like their plan is to start on a Monday and some people like them to start on a Sunday for their monthly, you know? So I think it's cool if somebody wants it to start on a Monday, they can, it can start on a Monday. Um, so yeah, like it's a little tiny bit tedious, but like I said, nothing too much that I'm like, oh, I hate this kit. I don't ever want to buy from it again, <laughs> you know? Um, and then I love how there's this like little snapshot of the mo next month, but I didn't know where to put it because I wanted it to go over something. Um, so it would stand out more and I usually like to have it over in the bottom right corner, but that long strip of flowers was there. And I remembered that the kit came with some kind of like, you know, full box types of boxes. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'll just put one there and then put the little May calendar there and boom, it looks so adorable. I love how it's silver foiled. It's like this tiny little May calendar and then the Jesenia handwriting with the bows. It's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> Um, so then we're going to go ahead and put the holidays down. I don't celebrate all of the extra holidays that are on here, like Palm Sunday, Good Friday, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't even celebrate Easter, but I did still put it just because I still like to take my son to uh, little egg hunts, you know, because, uh, you know, he will be too old pretty soon. <laughs> so yeah, I just put down April Fool's um, and then what else? Easter and Earth Day. Yeah, and that's it. Um, so then, and then when I threw, okay, when I threw my planner, when I was frustrated and I like threw it out of the way so I could try to unstick all those stickers, it got a bunch of black marks on it. I don't even know what from. Um, so I was kind of whining out a lot of areas cause they were like, we had these weird smudges of, I don't even know what on them. So that's what I was doing. Um, so I'm going to start with the ninth using one of these quarter boxes, um, because the ninth is mine and my husband's three year anniversary or, you know, wedding anniversary. So I'm putting that down to mark that. And I used this little clear sticker that said best day ever. I thought that was super cute and very appropriate. Um, I don't know what else I would have used that for if it wasn't like my anniversary or anything for this month. Um, so yeah, best day ever. I thought that was cute. So I put that there. Um, and then I also put the like little heart, super cute. Cause there's like a couple of like, you know, little icons you can use on that clear sheet too. I love that clear sheet. It's so functional. Um, then I'm going to take, um, I was trying to figure out like what kind of full box that I wanted. Um, 
and I wanted something a little bit more festive for the 14th uh, because that is when the series finale premieres of Game of Thrones. So I'm so excited. I'm so sad that it's ending, but I'm so excited to watch it. Um, so I'm using my uh, Game of Thrones stickers, characters from Binks and Bones, um, who you can, I up here first, you can use my code Lisa15 to save 15% and get my freebie. So she's got some characters there. I put the Khaleesi, Daenerys, and then I put also Jon Snow and um, Tyrion because those are like my three favorite characters, but I had to put Khaleesi on top because the Mother of Dragons is my favorite. <laughs> then for, what day is that? The 12th? Yeah, I think it's the 12th. Um, I put down another quarter box because my son has a doctor appointment. So I also was able to use the little stethoscope that comes on that clear sheet. I wish there was a couple more though because there we frequently have like multiple doctor's appointments every month. So um, there is another doctor's appointment this month, but I didn't have another one, so whatever. Um, I used that a little stethoscope for my son. Then the kit comes with these longer strips of washi, and I decided to use that for spring break. So my son is going to be out of school from the 15th um, till the 19th, but then, you know, of course, the weekend too. I figured I would just go ahead and include that as well. And then I'm going to be out of work as well for my part-time job because, um, as some of you know, I do have two jobs and my second job is part-time working for our, our local community college and um, so I only work on the weekends most often I only work Sunday but if they need me for Saturday then I can come in I will accept working Saturdays but it's not normally on my schedule but yeah I'm super excited to um, have spring break off as well I wish I had the entire week off like my son does <laughs> but um, I only get off the weekend before spring break and then the weekend after spring break so it's kind of like two weekend two weeks for me like two weekends that I'm off um, so that's nice because normally I only get a one day weekend I only get Saturdays off but for the next two weeks I will have a two-day weekend like every other normal person <laughs> so I'll be happy um, then I'm going to be using these Dad's House scripts from Cozy Paper Co. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I used the Spring Break Ends and Begins from Sticker Bloom. Those are from a previous $2 Tuesday. Very useful. I bought two shoots. Um, and then, yeah, the Dad's House scripts from Cozy Paper Co. Um, because my son is going to be going over to his dad's house um, a couple of days during the break. And... Um, Initially, I used the same color there because I didn't want to use anything of those other colors, you know, because this is a very bluish, um, dark purple, gray kind of kit. So I thought those were the best colors. But later on, I did find that I had another sheet of Dad's House I forgot about. So I will switch one of them out. So they're not two of the same. Um, then I used a bow clip uh, from the clear sticker sheet for my husband's doctor appointment. Um, and then, you know, since I didn't have any other stethoscopes, um, for then, that was for the 19th? Yeah. Then for the 20th, um, I took a, another quarter box and I wanted something to mark that it's going to be an Easter egg hunt and I didn't really know like what would work for that. So I just kind of like decided that the little alarm clock would work. And I mean, it does cause we do have to be there at a certain time, I guess. So, um, yeah, so that is for my son's Easter egg hunt on Saturday, the 20th. Um, then we're going to move on to what, oh, then I have these, um, a couple of leftover full boxes in the kit to just kind of spread around for, you know, wherever I think it feels like it needs a little more color or something like that. Um, so yeah, just going to spread those around. It was a little, this one was a little difficult for me because I kind of wanted to put it like where the strip of washio was for spring break, but then I didn't want to put it over that. Ugh. I'm so sorry. I hate yawning. I'm so sorry. Um, so I just put it up there and it kind of helps to balance out the spread a little bit, kind of... It, it was very heavy over on the right hand side with all the uh, boxes and dad's house and stuff. So I was like, yeah, this needs to go over on the left. <laughs> um, then I have a, what is this? Oh, I'm going to take another quarter box here. Um, and I'm going to put that down for the 13th. Is that the 13th? It, yes. Um, and I'm using the balloons. I forgot. I saw those little balloons in the kit. Um, and I was like, oh, those would be cute. Um, for like something like a birthday or celebration but anyways I just figured you know anniversary celebration so on the 13th my husband and I are gonna go out for dinner um and then go and see the Bellagio fountains over at the Bellagio <laughs> um perks of being a Las Vegas local because there's a Game of Thrones um show you can check it out on YouTube but I want to see it in person so we're gonna check it out this Saturday the 13th um then I just used 
the important script up at the top above the checklist because I, like I said, I use it for my bills. And then I used the, um, Magic Prints Co. Um, I'm using these right now, the, uh, bowling ball and pin um to mark when my son has bowling he has it three Saturdays a month um and there's always one Saturday off um and then yeah I just put down the date dots the little heart date dots super cute but you know you didn't need to see me put all those down so I just edited that part out and I forgot to mention with the checklist too my news addiction does sell an option of where you can um just get a decorative sidebar if you don't use your sidebar at all um it's just like a long strip that you can just put down there and it looks really pretty Another thing I think I forgot to mention was when I said those dad's house scripts were from Cozy Paper Co. I do PR for Cozy Paper Co. So make sure you mention my name, Elisa, in the notes to seller so you can get my huge foiled freebie. I don't have a discount code. None of us PR girls do for her, but you just mention us and then you get a big old freebie. Um, she upped our freebies like more than doubled the size since she took away the discount codes. So um, yeah, I hope you all love it. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the month section. Or what is this? Yeah, the notes section, like the monthly notes section for April. Um, and then the first thing I like to do is I make these little mini calendars. I'm sure maybe you could like have like I'm I don't know I feel like a sticker could be made like this like a little month like a mini month I don't know um it doesn't take me that long to draw it out but whatever um I noticed that like instead of a habit tracker which I don't use habit trackers in my weekly spread um because I just don't I don't know why like my sidebar you know I just don't <clears throat> but I do like to track something um in the month, which tends to be different. I made my little resolutions for the year and they were to lose some weight, save some money, and then do like a 30 day fix, I called it basically. Um, where it's like a 30 day challenge and something different, you know, like maybe it's like, like, uh, like a no soda for the whole entire month or like, you know, do 20 squats a day or, you know, something, I don't know. I haven't been doing that, which I'm kind of like okay with. I wasn't like super pumped about doing the 30 day fix, but I was happy to, um, that I got my full time job so I can start saving money. So I'm working on that resolution and then also losing weight. Um, I'm working on that resolution. So I made the resolutions and then month by month I've been breaking down the goals, you know, so I can make it, you know, I have my plan and I have to act it out. So yeah, so the little calendar that I do in the notes is um, for my steps. I've been gradually raising it. At first it was 7,000 steps per day and then the next month it was 8 and now this month it's 9. I'm eventually going to work my way up to 10. Um, 7 and 8 was actually, I found pretty easy for me to do if I sacrificed my lunch hour to just walk the entire time instead of eat. Um, but nine I'm finding is a little bit more of a stretch and especially on weekends because I don't like have my lunch hour. So I just tend to like take those days off from walking, which is fine if it's just weekends. Fridays are also a bit more of a challenge though, because we only get half our lunches on Friday instead of a full hour. So I'm missing another 30 minutes of walking. So yeah, but I have been doing pretty good otherwise at hitting that goal. So I'm hoping that when 10K comes next month for May, I will be able to hit that goal as well and maintain it. Um, and I also joined Weight Watchers, which has been very successful for me, for me so far. So um, in case you're interested in how I'm meeting or, you know, trying to meet my goals for my resolutions of the uh, in January, then uh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, though, so I draw my little calendar out and I just write 9K steps per day since that is April's goal. Um, you know, it's just like a mini calendar for April. Um, and then I'm using some of the washi from the Simply Gilded March Simplicity Box because it's kind of springy, you know, with like the gingham and the like florals and leaves and uh, pink bows and stuff. So that's cute. Then I just did this little to do section and I kind of made this like my go wild to do's. I need to buy all of my table mate gifts. I've, I've started, but I'm not finished. Um, I need to assemble them. I have to figure out like if I'm going to put them in a bag of some sorts or I don't know what. Um, and then I need to plan my outfits, figure out like who I want to meet up with, where we're going, you know, if I can go and stuff, depending on like, you know, where are we going? What's the cost going to be? Um, and I need to buy my go wild kit, which I have successfully done finally. So thank goodness I can cross that off. <laughs> um, these are some of the stickers that come in the Simply Gilded Simplicity box. That's the Juniper the bunny and Jasper the bear, um, who are gold foiled and adorable. By the way, if you don't know what Go Wild is, go ahead and check out wildforplanners.com in case you're interested in what is that? You know, what is she talking about? <laughs> um, it is a planner event and it's um, going to be my first one. So I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm just using my little to-do section there for 
my little go wild to do's because if I do that go wild is in the first week in May so if I I don't I'm such a slacker that I don't even plan my like monthly until the first week of the month so it's not gonna be useful for me to put that in the May section uh if uh, you know, the go wild is pretty much over. <laughs> so anyways, um, and then to cap it off, I just finished with my anxiety days and my following, um, which I don't always track as like thoroughly as I would like to, but I'm also not super bothered by it. Um, that's why I switched it from anxiety to just anxiety days. Cause I don't know. I am not always like a super anxious like sometimes I just forget to mark it like when I was really anxious is marking it pretty good and then I've been kind of doing better and stuff so I don't know I haven't been marking it whenever I put it in my planner so it's like oh, whatever then I just put days that way if I ever am having an anxious day I could write down the date there you know instead of having another mini calendar where I don't fill it in. <laughs> and then my following is just for my Instagram and my YouTube following because I like to just keep track to see like, you know, am I losing people? Am I gaining people? Like how many people am I gaining? Like what's going on, you know? So that is about that. I just finished my, you know, filling in some of the faux hand lettering stuff there. And I left that section over on the right um, next to to-dos blank because I don't know what to put there. But I am hoping I will eventually find something to put there. <laughs> something might come up. Maybe I'll put more to-dos. Um, oh, and then the washi I used was that cute little vertical bow washi that was also Simply Gilded, but that wasn't from the Simplicity box. That was just like, I don't know, from like a release that she did. Um, and then I realized, oops, that I've already talked about the anxiety in the following before I had read it, written it. Sorry, it's hard for me to see at the very bottom of the screen when I'm filming these voiceovers because there's a box that says recording that covers up the entire bottom of the screen. So sorry about that. Um, but it also that gingham washi and then the inverted silver bow five millimeter washi and then also that script washi with the lemon and strawberry are also from the Simply Gilded Simplicity box. I just thought that washi, like I think that's almost all the washi in the box except for a few larger varieties. Um, I just thought it was perfect for this spread. It's very springy. So, um, anyways, uh, now I've just got some stickers from the Mambi sticker books where I want to just kind of decorate a little bit, make it a little bit more springy. Um, so I just put like the rain boots and the like bouquet of flowers. I really like that one. Um, and then the peaches and sorry, strawberries and peach, singular peach there. Um, especially the strawberries because you know, the washi has got the like strawberry in it where it's got the word washi so it's perfect um and sometimes I'll do something to the right hand side of the note section like where the quote is the big Aaron Condren quote sometimes I'll put some stuff there sometimes I won't I don't know um as you can see there I didn't put anything <laughs> um so yeah I just left it blank I don't know so it just it really depends on if I've got the cute stickers to put there or not so if I don't it's no big deal <laughs> um anyway here's where I found the other sheet of the dad's house stickers that I had forgot that I had so I'm gonna lay that down and then that's about it for this plan with me so thank you all so so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you a little bit of inspiration I hope you subscribed as well so I will see you in next week's video and hope you all take care have a wonderful April bye y'all